Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to make the installation of Orion DB on Windows. To do that, we download Orion DB and just go to this link. And on the download, we click, and then here we have different uh, options. So you want to install on Windows, so if you click on this one after some time we'll have it uh, downloaded so we have a zip file like this one so we just open it then copy it we have already copied it and come and put it in a directory in our drive so from here what we have to do is to unzip it we have the unzip file and uh, I have prepared a small powerpoint presentation so and if you don't know what is Orient DB it is uh, a second generation distributed graph database and usually it's called a multimodal database why because it is it operates as a document db just like uh, mongodb if you are familiar with that one it can be used as a mongodb document database or object oriented database and it is also known for being a graph database concurrent to uh, neon 4g and so on so today what we are going to do is to make the installation and try to see the graph functionality of orient db so do that here are the steps to make the installation on windows so the first thing is to download we have already done but done that and then the next thing is to check uh, the java runtime environment version that we are running so to do that one uh, we go to the command prompt then try to write java version so here we can see that uh, uh, the version of java that is currently installed is 1.8 zero nine two so if you go to the c drive here i have installed it on program file java and i unfortunately i have many version of the jdk here and if you don't have it you have to first download the jdk and so it i will not go through that but i assume that you already have the jdk installed in uh, your PC so here I have uh, 1.8092 so it is this one so I open it so the next thing is to go into the Java GRE bin folder and what we are going to do now we go there and then click on bin then create a new folder now we need to uh, give the permission because the directory is protected create a folder named server here you have one empty folder here and then the procedure says we copy uh, the content of client and paste it into the server so <coughs> we copy the content of client that come with java and put it into the server so here you have to confirm it so done the next thing now is to go uh, to this place where we have installed our we have unzip our database this under c drive 2015 orient db here then slash cd Okay, we go orient db then and bin on the bin okay then we 
select this file what we are actually doing is going into uh, this directory here then on the bin here we try to run this uh, this server that is uh, okay it is shell this uh, okay sorry okay dot b80 file I think it should be this uh, shell script so we try to run it from the command line if we run this server dot b80 file and wait for some times and wait for some time now our data is creating I think it is okay it is creating so here it is requesting to enter the root password so we just create enter orient db as the password So our database is running now. So what we have to do is going to uh, the web browser and then under this port local os two four eighty. If you run local os two four eighty yep yeah so our database here and then it's running so by default uh orient db come with this default database that is grateful uh, dead content so our root username is root then the password is orient db try to connect it and yeah so here we have our database that is running we can see here we can close here or we can create schema here and security graph we can create some functions and then here we have the list of different databases actually here we have our only one okay we have a list of different uh, database objects so here is it so you can see here this is the current database that you are using now you can log out from here and so in order to browse through that one so you can do like if you do this uh, maybe a little bit confused here and yeah so uh, as I we said in the beginning we are going to talk about the graph functionality of OrientDB the graph database of OrientDB has this super class called vertex and the set class another called edge so if you want to see what are we can select all the vertex by just writing SQL select all from H run it so here you can see different edges of this database you can also select the set of vertex vertices so here and this one here you can see a, a literal view of vertex so if you go here on graph view and then try to select all from vertices and okay you can see here a graph view of 
the database that we have and then if you select only the vertex so you can see here and this one here are different vertex vertices so <coughs> here it is um, yeah i hope uh, you like uh, this video tutorial and next time i will go through uh, through uh, language manipulation like we exploiting like how to create this vertex using uh, sql and then i will also go through uh, gremlin how to set up gremlin enable gremlin on uh, graph db so thank you for watching this video tutorial i hope that you will be able to make this installation and yeah thank you for watching and um, please before leaving here there's one thing that i wanted to show you here if you go back here to the bin configuration here and then come to orient db config here open this file and go down you can see here the password here is the password the password is encrypted here if maybe some if for one reason or another one you have forgotten your password here is the username password and here is the username root and then here is the password you can still copy this uh, encrypted password and paste it in the test and they will work so anyway thank you for watching this tutorial i hope that you have enjoyed it bye <laughs>